Everyone, get off this property now! Now keep at it! Don't come back unless you want to get shot! Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Don't listen. Thank you. 
damn gray in disguise. for the grays now.
Okay there. Good morning, friend. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. Uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob. We must begin. Lady me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Sure. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? All right, ladies, we know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Singing songs of freedom and glory be. Fair women of the loin, come join with me. We're mothers standing on our own two legs. They answer us with tomatoes and eggs. We have a better home, our hiding's going and true. For the suffrage, for suffrage, I vote for mothers too. We sing for suffrage, for women to be free. A ballot for the lady, a vote for you and me. This is our cry of freedom, our power is not small. For women's equal liberty, this is the call. We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and 
daughters we cook, the food and we fetch, the water, singing songs of freedom and glory be. Then women of the line, come join with me. Now, now take us down Main today. Street, right through town to the steps of the bank of roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Or maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Let liberty reign! <laughs> we're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food now, and we now. Fetch the water. Take us Sing down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Becca Road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, here. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun, and maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it, but I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Today, Sheriff, I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. We sing for suffrage for women to be free.
that title. Right now, now. Right now, now.
Okay, take it easy. Hey, Arthur! What you want? Man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. Harrison, why are you dressed as a sheriff? Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They were planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Jose wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. How are you? Not my usual self right now. It'll be okay. We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. Morgan. In the ship. We're drowning in mud. For a of cloth, you have quite a way with words. Words are the very least of my problems. The very least. I'm sure. 